Hey, TikTok family. I'm back again answering your questions. Um, thank you for all the overwhelming support as always. And this question is, have you met up with other people who have escaped the church? And do you have any hope or for one or more of your siblings to escape? Okay, first question. Yes, I have got like, as I said before, I've helped like 14, 15 people leave and they're all in my close circle and love them like family. And then also I've met up with people that left years ago. I have two uncles that left. Um, I've been in contact with one and really close, you know, close to other family members that have left. Um, that's being said, there's not many in, in comparison because it's such a difficult, traumatic experience to leave. And do I have any hope for my sisters or my brother to leave? No, I d honestly don't. My brother was so stooped in that indoctrination. He was just like my father, very much in that. And my last experience with him was of him being violent with me. So I, I don't really want somebody like that in my life anyway. Um, my sisters, and I'll get to that story, but it was the last night of me being in there. Um, I was playing the piano and he just lost it. Basically, he had another cousin in his ear um, saying, you know, how I was bad for the family. I was bad influence on my sisters and I was wayward and worldly. And my brother took that on him when he got home. He had been drinking and got, you know, violent with me. <laughs> so that was kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back. I was like, actually, it's getting physical now. Um, not just emotional abuse from my father and family and other people. Um, it's now physical and I, I'm out of there. So, but I'll get into that story more, but my sisters know I, what they, they have both come to me at different times and said that they would like to leave. Um, this was years ago, but in more recent times I've heard from inside sources and I've seen photos. They're both married. So I hope they're happy and I hope it was their decision. Um, and if they ever see this, know that your big brother is always here and will always have your back. And even if you just want somebody to chat to, I'll be here for you. I'll always believe your story and I would never ever do what the brethren do and victim shame. So I hope that they got to choose their partners. I hope they're happy. Um, and I heard that one of my sisters has a little girl, a niece. So I've got a niece, um, which, you know, it's sad that I was never, obviously never invited to the wedding or any of any of this. I'm not privy to any of this information. I just get told it from other people, um, which, you know, is kind of sad. Um, but no, if they leave, I'm here for them. Um, but I doubt they ever would. Thanks for your questions, guys.